nothing quite like having your driveway lined with pine trees. That means plenty of pine cones to pick up all along the way. See, I come out in to my drive any day I want and pick up hundreds of pine cones. As you can see, there's always plenty to pick from. So let's get on with today's video and see what we can do in relation to these wonderful pine cones. Here you see me just roughly with a pencil outline here <clears throat> and you have to draw these are going to be pine cones they don't have to be even that's the good part about it you just every other one and you you can kind of fill up your draw your pine cone on there and that's where you want to carve at so you get the idea here and I got this idea from uh, a guy over at Studio on the Lake, and I have his link to his channel if you want to go over there and check him out. He's an excellent artist and carver. Studio on the Lake, I have a link below. I'll finish the drawing on all three of these, and then we'll get back to carving. See, I'm drawing a picture now, and you can see I start over here. Let's see, I guess I'd start right here. And uh, I drew kind of a limb around, winding around the stick. I drew a pine cone right here. This limb runs around. It's got some needles coming up here. Another pine cone comes around here. Another pine cone, some needles, and right on down and ends with some needles. Uh, right again, the other pine cones. So... Let's uh, get started today and, and and see what we got.
Well, that about does it. You can't see much till we get the get the finish and get that on there. But next, I'm gonna I have this laid out for a spiral. Lay that out with tape going around, and uh, I'm gonna take this big, big, big curve, uh, quarter inch uh, aggressive bit, and we're gonna knock that out in a hurry. Right on down, and you see. It's best to mark off what you're going to cut out. And uh, we'll see that in action in just a little bit. You just saw how I do the tapering, and uh, by the time we finish that, get the uh, hand sand, the fuzz off of it, and the ink off of it, it'll be ready for finishing. So let's go and do that right now. I had a ring there. That was just to mark the end of where I stopped. And see, that's got to be polished out. There's another one right there, and we had one right here, but you see... That is all clean now, all the way down to the second mark, and I go down here. All of this has to come off. All I want to do is, is get the ink off. So I'm going to try an 80 grit. When I get that done, be back. We'll almost be ready to finish. Well, here goes. I have it all slicked up. We're, we're going to apply the first coat of stain. And uh, what I'm putting on this is men wax, and it's called pickled oak. And it gives you just uh, about what you see on the can there. It's, this is a hickory, uh, hickory stick, and uh, I don't want a real dark stain on it. So that's what we're going to put on it today. And uh, we're, we're going to commence to brushing it on right now. Now, we'll take... A rag here in a minute and and wipe i will act like i'm trying to wipe it all off so i think we're going to go ahead up in into here and that will give a little bit just a little bit of a continuance up there and uh maybe add a little highlight in here and there i'll go all the way up into the pine cones and we're going to wipe it off and uh, i'll get something to wipe this down with i'm going to start here Start where I started and just kind of get in those, get in that groove and I'll twist the stick down to, to get it out of, out of the groove and uh, go right back up through there, get the other groove. And this time you pretty well got the stick rubbed down. Yeah, that gives it a nice kind of a barely darkened look. And uh, I think with, once I get the semi-gloss on it, it's going to look really good. Hickory has sort of a straight grain. This is a, one of the strongest walking sticks I think you could make. It sure, sure is difficult to carve. I'll, I'll have to say that for it. And you see I wanted pine cones on the end, and I didn't want it to be weak here 
where they went together, and the hickory is the perfect candidate for that. Okay, I think we're ready to let it go for a little while. Okay, I'm all ready now for finishing, and I'd like to make one, one small important point that I do with my sticks. After the final sanding and all looks well, I slightly dampen a, a cloth with uh, denatured alcohol, and I, I wipe it down to just to make sure that all dust is, is uh, gone from the surface. I use Waterlux uh, gloss finish, on the sticks that I want somewhere between a semi-gloss and a gloss. And the gloss finish that it leaves is not a heavy, thick-looking gloss uh, that, you, that you see on a lot of things. So anyway, that's what I'm using today. I put this high bolt on the end of the cane, and I got a room in the back where it's more dust-free and uh, I'll hang it upside down to dry overnight. That's uh, this uh, Waterlux, they recommend drying overnight, and I would too, from experience. I, th I think 10, 12 hours, it's probably ready to recoat. Sometimes sand between coats, sometimes I don't. And you don't need to get it on thick at all. Uh, matter of fact, I found it's much better to have a one thin coat. Now what I tend to do is just touch it in one spot and I'm gonna go in and hang it, take the brush with me and I'll go over it with that brush when I get it hung. So I'll see you tomorrow. We'll be back and take a look. Well, I guess that about does it for another walking stick. This one I call the pine cone walking stick, and I like to take a review of what what just happened. Have the three pine cones kind of stacked on top of one another there for the tip. And then I have six inches of carving on the stick. That's uh, pine cones with needles, and then I have a double spiral that goes down 18 inches, and uh, then it's just smooth all the way down from there. It's about eye level for me, and it has a leather lace wrist strap. Very handy right there. I think you get a good grip on that right there at that carving. It gives a real good solid grip. And uh, I guess that's about all I can say about it for right now. I hope you like it and like this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'd appreciate that. And also... A thumbs up wouldn't hurt a thing. And if you didn't like it, of course, you always got the thumbs down, and that would be terrible, but hey, it is what it is. And uh, what I can say now is, I'll see you in the next video.